recipe we need 500 grams of mutton keema or mutton mince there should be 20% of fat not more than that to make the stickyas and into a mixer jar I'm going to add ginger garlic raw papaya paste and some crushed mint leaves coriander leaves and green chilies into the mixer jar along with some lime juice and now I will mix it together in a jar and see it has been mixed well and now I will add chili powder uh, some cumin powder uh, some roasted coriander powder a little bit of haldi or turmeric powder uh, ghee salt to taste and I'm going to add one whole egg into it uh, mix it well and after that I'm going to add a little bit of uh, one or two tablespoon of mustard oil into it and again mix it well and cover it for two to three hours after two to three hours marination now we'll add uh, three to four tablespoon of uh, gram flour or basin into it for binding and in between I'll add uh, two to three, three tablespoon of ghee or clarified butter and we'll make it hot and now I'm going to make the tikkias you can give shape into it and now we'll shallow fry them in the pan in medium heat uh, when one side has been browned then uh, slowly flip it to the other side it's very tender so be careful while you flip it and now when it's done on from both sides brown now take it out and now the same pan we are going to add one more tablespoon of ghee and some whole garam masala red chilies into it and add onion paste I've used here uh, one one large size onion paste into it and we'll saute it till the raw smell goes away along with some garlic and ginger paste into it and saute it I have grinded some uh, melon seeds or char magaj and now I will add this powder in, into the pan and saute it uh, till oil releases from the side and to it I am going to add salt to taste and a bit of sugar, chilli powder and mix it well, haldi powder and mix everything and saute for one minute and now I'm going to add warm water um, I have used here around about one fourth cup of water so that the masala doesn't burn and mix it well after frying the masala for one or two minutes now I'm going to add uh, mawa three tablespoon of mawa or khoya kheer into it and some shahi garam masala and add around about two to three cups of warm water into it and when a two or three boiled comes and your gravy is a little bit of thick and now it's perfect time to add the tikiyas gently add the tikiyas into the gravy and coat the tikiyas well with the gravy and cook it in medium high flame another three to four minutes Kolkata's very special mutton tikiya gravy is ready to serve and enjoy this with biryani this tikiya gravy best complements with lakcha paratha do enjoy this and let me know in the comment section do not forget to subscribe my channel bye bye take care eat healthy stay healthy